sister any little thing you have just give to me so i can use for food and medicine for my mother please i'm not giving i don't have anything You're a cost child. Nobody will help you. You will die begging. Oh, you are still looking at me. I'm, 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 I'm. I wish I could find suitable words enough to say thank you. Thank you for the love and kindness that you have shown me. The one that my people, the people of Amozala have denied me. Dalo. Dalo Rinne. Thank you. Do not thank me, body gods, for helping you through me. I have to be on my way. Stay blessed. Ogiri's herbs will do you a lot of good, oh? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it seems the gods favored you again today. Uh, How did you manage to get money for the herbs? And I remember that woman I told you that keeps helping me every time. It looks as if the gods sent her to help us. Mm. The herbs. You should know who she is and where she stays. We need to pay her a visit mm. to say thank you. We will, after you are well and strong enough to walk. Oh, I will. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Let me go and get something ready, prepared for us to eat. Oh? Grandmother is sick. Beggar! Beggar, so you are here, baby. Look at you. Oh, stop looking at me. What have I done to deserve such a cruel fate? What have I done to deserve this kind of hatred, humiliation and suffering? You have done nothing. Kind one, you are here. I have brought you a gift. How long have you been here and how did you read my mind to know my thoughts? I have been here long enough to know what hurts you deeply. Long enough to know your sorrows and affliction. But do not worry, for the gods are with you. Thank you. Thank you, kind one, for all your care, your kindness, your support. I don't know how else to say thank you. I have told you countless times not to thank me. But thank the gods for using me to help you. 
I have to go now. Go. No, 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 no. Come on, please. Not until you tell me your name. Tell, where do you live? I can come over and help you with some house chores, please. I beg you, please. Stand up. Do not be concerned about appreciating me, but be concerned about your future. For what lies ahead of you is a beautiful future, but filled with blood and sweat. is a beautiful future but filled with blood and sweat How are you feeling, Mia? I would be better if only you can share your worries with me. Mia, I'm just wondering for how long I'll suffer this rejection, this humiliation and ill treatment from my people. The people I call my own. Why are the gods cruel towards me? Why? What have I done? My daughter, fate is often a puzzle to we mortals. Yours is quite unfortunate and pathetic. How you are suffering from a deed of the past. Dust of tears raised by your late parents. Like I told you, it's a touching story. A story started before you were born. A situation culminated by your birth. Yeah, please. You keep saying that you will tell me this all about it at the right time when I'm fully a woman. Is it this the right time? Am I not woman enough? When are you going to tell me? <laughs> Maybe you are right. Maybe this is the time you know. Time to tell you. Isn't it taking too long than usual? Certainly not, Your Majesty. Do not forget that this is Her Majesty's first experience in this journey. You don't expect less. However, the gods will soon see her through the way they saw your first wife through the delivery of your son, Prince Gideofo. I told you! I told you! She has delivered! The gods be praised! Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Your Majesty. Mboye, bother not yourself for the cry of the innocent baby has laid proof to the good news. Exactly. Is it a boy or a girl? A beautiful baby girl, Your Majesty. 
<laughs> May I take my leave now, Your Majesty? You may go. What a blessing. What Thanks be to God, the gods. <laughs> For what they have done. Must you show your filthy self here every time you are drunk? Mm, let him be. He seemed more sober to me than drunk this time. Young man, this is not the first, the second, nor the third time I'm seeing you around my palace. Brooding in this way, I demand to know your mission. Your Majesty. I, I only want to see my, my child, my blood. How may that be? The princess. She is my blood. How dare you speak such blasphemy? Do you realize the implication of what you are saying? I'm aware of the implications, my king. I cannot lie to you. Ask so much. Guys, bring him to the palace at once. You sent for me. Young man, repeat what you said. Your Majesty, I said I want to see the newborn baby, my daughter, the princess. What do you say to this? My love, it is high time the truth be told so that we can free ourselves from this bondage and tears. My king, he's right. He was the love of my life. <laughs> we shared an unbreakable bond. Something about you and me That makes me wanna cry Something about loving you That takes me to the sky Something by you and me is rating across the sky. Something about loving you is engraved in the sands of time. So the children can read your history 
And the elders can tell your bravery Through the night, the day will come After rain, the sun must shine uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. Till you came into the picture And asked for my hand in marriage I realized that he would be in great danger if anyone stood against the will of the prince and that could cost death. My king, I love him. I do not wish him death. My king, that was the reason I kept our love affair a secret. I am so sorry, please forgive me, please, please. <laughs> Why can you just tell me you want to throw away everything we've shared in common just like that? We don't have a choice. Your life will be in danger should we go against the king's proposal. And if I refuse his proposal as well. My lord, can't you just think about the whole situation? What about the pregnancy? Our baby, my first blood. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Look, we have to pretend that this never existed. We have to pretend that this pregnancy is not yours. Please let me go. I must tell you, there is no love without you. I cannot love another. Okay. It's a lover, it's a lover, sicker. On a susa, manifest in a sirica. A jacket, a jacket, a dika gay. I tried to let it go, but I couldn't. On hearing the birth of my child, my first blood. My king, can you allow another to father your own child, your own first blood? I cannot be alive and watch another father my own child. That's why I, I am here to spew the What a shame! What a slander! What an atrocity! Both of you have destroyed me! My reputation as a king! You will pay for this despicable act! How I wish there's something worse than death! Both of you must be stunned to death! Ikwe, 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 please, please kill me, kill me, kill me, I, I, at least I will die. Kill me, kill me, at least my death would be because of love. Please don't hurt my child, please, I beg it you. It is not of you to decide her future, <laughs> nor her fate. Girls, hey. please execute my judgment. No! No, 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 please! No, no, no. Let her in. Don't leave your 
Majesty. Who are you and what do I owe this intrusion? Your Majesty, I am Ugunne, a poor helpless widow from this kingdom. I never had a child before my husband died. Because I am barren, when I had the ugly incident about Queen Machi, I decided to come and beg you, Your Majesty. Please give me the child. I can take care of her. I can be a mother to her. Your Majesty, I can give her hope. Instead of you, throwing her to the evil forest where she will have no hope. She can heal the tears of loneliness in my heart, Your Majesty. Please, Your Majesty. You may be right, woman. She is better alive to suffer her fate then die without pain. Especially with a helpless, poor widow like you. Who can only give her hardship and pains of fate. Your request is granted. But do not forget that she is an outcast here in Amozala. She remains a product of curse and disgust to all inhabitants of this kingdom. But to you, who has accepted to bear the curse, and if you must take her, you must not leave her my soil. You must take her away, far away. Gods, make sure her request is granted. was how I brought you to this place where we can have peace I nurtured you from a baby to a woman that was very cruel very wicked they didn't my parents didn't do anything they were simply in love yes they were victims of true love like I always tell you, fate is often a puzzle. We can only live with it if we can solve it. So my daughter, wipe your tears. You go. If I did more, my get in the way, A If It's a lover, it's a lover, it's a girl. On a susa, man, if a dinner's a recall. It's a cat, it's a cat, a dika guy. How could I be having these strange dreams about this strange girl? She is existing somewhere in It's 
Worry yourself unnecessarily, oh. It, it, it's just a dream. You know how our brain can play on us sometimes. You know? Let's go back to sleep. Dinner and I know. Um, he came. My prince. Let's go get prepared. I think I want to go swimming today. My prince. Swimming? Yes. But you never liked it all your life. And you've never gone for once. So why now? Change is inevitable. Maybe the experience will be fun. Don't you think so? It will be fun. Come, let's go get prepared. <laughs> My prince, yes. you are taking the wrong direction. How so? As far as I know, this road leads to the river. <laughs> of course you are right, my prince. But that side is for the commoners. If you must swim, you must take the side of the royalty. This way. This other side is flooded with the villagers. And as we both know, you are not supposed to be seen with the commoners. You are wrong, Ikem. I choose to swim amongst my people. I can't drown myself in loneliness and boredom, all in the name of royalty. No. No! Your father won't be happy if he finds out. He won't! And how is he supposed to find out? Huh? Or do you want to run your mouth? After me. Now. Wait, oh. this one that you are standing under a tree, uh, peeping like a hunter, looking for a prey. I hope uh, all is well. Mm, all is well. I'm waiting for Ikem. He went to Mazibe's house. He will soon be here. Ikem? Mm. 
Are you sure? Kedin keba are you sure? Dia e badaba. Ndoka. Eh, ga wa sie. Kimina. Ndoka. Eh na. Ndoka. Dia be I don't trust you. Ha. Ndoka. Ndoka. Dia e je be sie nu. Ha. Jira je subuko won gina mo. Ya fun demo. Abo abo, why you dem abo abo? Come 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 come, abo ma come. Why you dem? Abo ma, how are you? Look, what can I do for you? Can I just see you privately? I don't want ears to hear what I want to tell you. Amaka here is my close friend, and I do not hide anything from her. So, say whatever it is you want to say. What is it? It's about what I told you. Mm. Give you kuzi, what's your reply? <laughs> Have I not told you that I'm not interested in this, your stupid proposal? Eh? Hey. Hey? Look at, wait, oh. Look at me now. From head to toe. Check your no, no, no. Hmm? Do I fit into your class? Do you fit into my class, eh? Look at this village lay about. She ran rats like you. Don't come here and spoil my relationship with the prince, so. Mm. Um. Abuma. Wait, oh. Are you trying to tell me that you are seeing the prince? <laughs> oh. You even look surprised. You've no head. Now you know. Thanks the gods you know now. So please. Stay off me! Stay off me so that the prince will not have you punished though because you're going around with his girl. Mm. <laughs> hey! Hey! Um, Abomma, about you seeing the prince, I guess it's in your dream. Hmm? I'm not your dream. I guess it's in your dream. Because the prince cannot see you. You are not even worthy to be a maid. At the palace, legu legu don't go. Legu da legu da ba detia. Abom abom. Oya na abom. Magan abom abom. Kedi bi magi no. Eh? Because you are carrying yourself as if you are the most beautiful girl in this village. Oya na afoge. Who is seeing you? And I I stooped so low to see see a dating girl like you walking. I stopped you and tried to talk to you. You did not even insult me when I am alone. Obruni ru apa apa. Biko biko biko. You insulted me and you included the prince that he he, he wants to date Tonya Aladikage. Is is how possible is it? See, let me warn you, Adam Mama's grave. The next time you will ever walk or even try to walk the way I walk, if you see me, face your front where you are facing your back. If I slap you, eh? Now, that prince will come and pack your dead box. Because shut up, boy. Shut up. Come on, get out from here. You get too new, Lana. You get too new, Lana. It's all Come on, get away. Come on, shut up, boy. What's your problem? Stop it, stop it. 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 Stop it, stop but come to think of it, why do you go about spreading rumor that you are dating the prince when you are not? Amaka, you don't know how much I love the prince. It's just a matter of time. I will lure him into my world of love. Just what I see. I wish you the best, Her Majesty. Please, let's go. <laughs> Amaka. <laughs>
Where is she? The girl that just came and everyone walked out at her presence. Oh, <laughs> the outcast. Outcast? Yes, outcast. You see, everyone avoids her like a leper. Yes, because no one would like to incur the wrath of the gods. Where can we find her? My prince, <laughs> I do not know. And uh, why are you looking for her? Listen, Ikem, we must find her. <laughs> I am sorry, my friends. Uh, she lives in isolation. No one knows her whereabouts. Uh, I hope all is well. Ikem, we'll have to search for her. My prince! We'll have to search for her. It's okay, my daughter. I know how it feels to be rejected. But take heart. The gods knows the best. The gods, do they exist? Do they really exist? If they exist, why would I be going through this? Why would I be suffering for what I didn't do? Why would I have tears cloud my eyes? Why would I have so much pain in my heart? Why? The gods have not abandoned you. They will wipe your tears at the right time. At the right time? When is the right time? Is it when sorrows and tears have drowned me? Or when hardship and suffering has consumed me like a fierce furnace? When? When is the appointed time? The ways of the gods is not the same with mortals. All we need is hope and patience. Enugu. Uzugu. Uzugu. So she exists. Gods of my ancestors. How could I ever lose her? And now no one knows her whereabouts. What do we do? Where did where did we go wrong? There's no food. I've spent all I have on Ohogiri's herbs. There's nothing in this house. Uzuko, huh? The gods will not allow us die of hunger. They will provide for us. I am only troubled that you are bearing this suffering alone. Providing for us. This illness has kept me physically incapacitated. I only pray that the gods will reward you and give you the strength to move on. No, don't worry, it will be alright. The last thing I want is for you to worry about all the crises we are going through right now because I know it's not good for your health. Don't worry, the gods will see us through.
Ogini, yeah? What are you doing there? Sorry, sorry, sir. I'm sorry, I was just picking food for my my mother. She's sick and very hungry. You? I see you every night in my dreams. Me too. I see you every night in my dreams. Come with me. I, 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 I won't come back. So tell me, what do you see me do in your dreams? Most times, I see both of us together happy, laughing and playing. Same with me. So, what could be the meaning? I have no idea. Oh, my prince, please, thank you very much for the food, but can I take it home? My mother is very sick and hungry and she needs it more than I do. So you mean you actually wanted to eat things thrown as trash? We don't have a choice. Okay, eat. There is enough here for you to take home to your sick mother. Okay? And henceforth, make sure you tell me whenever you need anything. Eat, come. Give you all this. Yes, Mama. Yay, fake up, Uncle. This is guinea fowl. Yes, expensive meats. Eh? Hey! That's very kind of him. Wonderful. Hey, the prince must be a very kind man. Maybe these are the signs of the dreams you were having. Eh? This is wonderful. Um, however, you must be very careful. Remember who you are. An outcast. Your life could be in danger should the king know about this. Try and avoid him. My prince, did you realize what you just did? To be seen with an outcast? He came! Whenever you refer to the love of my life as an outcast, I will relieve you of your duties in this palace. I don't care what you or anyone have to say. I don't see her as an outcast. But it's so mate. Do you realize I have known this girl all my life in my dreams? This is a girl I have shared a lot with. Can't you see? My prince, in your dreams, in your dreams you said this is reality. You have to wake up to it. The reality is that Mama and I have a lot in common. 
perhaps something too deep for you or anyone to understand. Can, can you hear that? Can you hear that? The gods can speak through the sky about our love. Seriously, this is taken out of hand. This is not normal. My prince, you need a spiritual help. Begin! Don't say that again. Watch your tongue! I am still your prince. I am sorry, my prince. I don't mean to disrespect you. No. It's just that this singular art could cause a lot of damage in the palace. My prince, please. I want you to stop seeing her at once. You shut up and keep your useless advice to yourself. Get out of my presence at once. My prince. Out! <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm here with my son, Tim. Uh, I just want to help him to actualize his dream. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why we're here to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Thank yes. you. Your journey is a good one. Uh, yes. But like you know. Uh, it's not in my power to take such decisions. Of course. <laughs> Decision is entirely my daughter's. Yes. Mm? Yeah. Let me call her to hear what you have to okay, say. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me call her. Uh, I believe she will be fine and good looking. Yes, I'm always going for the best okay. now. You know now. Okay. <laughs> Nine. Like my daughter is here. Okay, okay. Hey! <laughs> Such a beautiful girl. <laughs> you know what is good. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Abomma, this young man Chima is here with his father. Uh, yeah. For I'm your hand in marriage. <laughs> what do you have to say? <laughs> this one. Mama, I am not interested. Go and look for your class. Please, mm -hmm. I am very sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'll have to talk to her, please. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah sometimes it, it happens. Yeah. She might, she will change her mind. It's, it's not our fault. It's let me, let not me. our fault. Abomma, how could you be treating your suitors like this? This is the fifth suitor that is coming to ask for your hand in marriage, and you keep scaring them. Oh, Jimmy, I'm very good, Mama, Mama, why you me? Maybe go. I'm not interested in these villagers. They're all village poppers. And for the prince and prince alone, no. How long will you wait for the prince to propose? A man who does not even know you admire him. Are you the one to go for your suitor? Abuma has told you. You better leave the prince alone and settle down before it becomes too late. Remember, a woman's beauty first like a flower. Mama, I'm going to wait for the prince. I will wait for the prince and I know very soon the prince will propose. Eh. Hey. Yes. You're going to wait for the prince. Oh, yeah, keep waiting for the prince. But do not say I did not warn you. Do not say I did not warn you! Mama, I will not say anything. Nonsense. Greetings, my prince. Boma, how are you? I'm fine. Um, my prince, I was wondering, can I pay you a visit tomorrow? That won't be necessary, Abuma. I have told you that this yoga won't work. I don't feel anything for you. My heart belongs to another. And who is that, if I may ask? Is there any maiden in this kingdom? 
more beautiful than I am. <laughs> Abu Map, the beauty of love lies not in the physical appearance, but the heart connection. But my prince, I am in love with you already. I can't sleep at night because I always think about you. I'm sorry about that, but sorry. Nothing can happen between us. As you can see, I'm in a hurry. He came. Let's go. Have a nice day. What do I do? I've tried every possible means to get the prince attention but none seem to be working. What am I going to do now? I love the prince. But he does not love you. You should understand that love is a thing that involves two people, not one person. You're only forcing yourself on him and it won't work. But however, I have an idea. You have an idea? Yes. Um. Peace. Peace be unto you. Welcome. Thank you, Nick. I heard you are sick. How are you today? The gods be blessed. Thank you for your kind gesture towards us the other time. My daughter told me everything. Dalo, oh. You don't have to thank me. I did what I was supposed to do in this situation. I didn't know you were coming. I know. Let's say it's a surprise visit. Here. I brought you some things you may be needing. Thank you very much. Thank you, my prince. Hi. May the gods bless your kind heart. He said. May the gods bless you. Dalo. Hi. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. What more can I do for a soulmate? So tell me, why are you considered an outcast? It is a heartbreaking story. Say it. I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to listen to you. Aboma, hmm? what are you doing in the palace? I hope all is well. Everything is fine. I came to see the queen. The queen? Mm -hmm. What for? You see, I came to volunteer myself to help you people in this palace with the household chores on a daily basis. Really? Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. Okay, come with me. Let me take you to the queen. Your story is a sad one indeed. Considering all that you went through for something you know nothing about. I sincerely apologize on behalf of my father for his cruel decisions. I wish I was a man then. I would have stopped it. But thank the gods I found you. I am 
here to give you a shoulder to lean on. I will be your companion when you are lonely and downcast. Please forgive. Let go and give me the chance to make it up to you. Of what use is your affection now that everything has been torn apart? Of what use is my forgiveness after my parents were brutally murdered? I cannot do that which you ask me to do. It is impossible. Things can no longer be the same. It is too late. It is too late for what you ask of me. I can't. I'm sorry. Please calm down. I know it might be too late. But for this for this deep affection revealed to us by the gods through our dreams. It may be too late, but not to bring smiles and satisfaction to our faces like we do in our dreams. The gods have a purpose for our meeting. My daughter, yes, Your Majesty. You said you desire to assist in the household chores. Yes, Your Majesty. Whose daughter are you? I'm the daughter of late Mazu, made the blacksmith. Blacksmith. Oh, your father was a good man. No wonder you volunteered to make such a rare sacrifice to the household. You are indeed an epitome of a virtuous woman. Your request is granted. You can start immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Your Highness. Father. Mm. Welcome, son. Good enough you elected to join me in my relaxation. <laughs> uh, take a seat and, um, hey, have a drink. Oh, thank you, Father. I do not wish to drink. I am okay standing. Quite unusual of you. However, I hope you are considering my decision about you getting a wife. You see, son, you are my only son, Jideofo, the prince and heir to the throne of Amosa. The destiny of this kingdom rests on your shoulders as one who heralds the future of this throne. Therefore, it is imperative that you get married and bear me grandchildren while I am still alive. Children, who will uphold the name of this family while I'm still alive, so that after joining to the land of my ancestors, it will not be with regret and unfulfillment, knowing that I have not disappointed my ancestors. Father, like I said, I am working towards that. But that's not why I'm here. I'm listening. Father, I wish to ask you a question about someone. Mm, and uh, who? A certain young lady called Machi, whom was murdered years ago, and uh, she was once your wife. Leaves, my prince. How dare you mention such a name here? How did you get to know about her? Listen, son. She is long dead and forgotten. Father, she may be dead, but history is not. History? What history? Yes. Why are you asking after her in the first place? 
have you forgotten that I like history just like you do? I want you to tell me about her, her drunk lover, and her newborn baby. It's in the past. A bitter past I do not want to talk about. Now or ever. Since you do not have anything important to talk about. Leave my presence. I insist, Father. It is important we talk about it now. I shall leave my presence now! My son, what you heard was how it happened. But mother... It was an ugly situation then. But mother, that was so callous of father. How could he murder the lady and her lover like that? You see, some things are left unquestioned. Especially the decision of a king because it was considered as the wish of the gods. Well, I missed her though. As a co-wife, she was a wonderful person. May her spirit rest peacefully in the land of her ancestors. Finally what? The Queen has already accepted me. I told you it will work. You've never been more right. She has already started liking me and gradually I will win her heart completely. And above all, you will always be close to your dream man, the Prince. Amaka. Thank you. Am I supposed to cry? Thank you for the idea. I'll help you. Give me. Kind one, what are you doing here? I was waiting for you. Waiting for me? At this time of the night? Come to think of it, how, how did you know my name? Because I, I know I never told you my name. I am Machi, your mother. <laughs> my mother is dead. My body may be dead, but my spirit lives to protect and guide you. How do I believe you? Do not be afraid. I will not hurt you. This was how I was stoned to death with your father by the king for the love we shared. Is that why you have been so kind to me? A mother never forgets her beloved daughter, the first fruit of the womb. Why did you leave me? Why did you leave me all alone to suffer? For something I know nothing of. I'm sorry, child. I wish I can do more. I wish I can connect with you physically. But the living and the dead have a slim path to cross. However, be strong. For I will always protect and guide you. You are my instrument of vengeance. You are the one to destroy the prince. How do you mean? With time you will understand. Welcome to reality, my child. 
what she had was not a dream. What? Mother! Kind one! Still worried about last night. I told you it's just a dream. Your imagination 